free stop start with the numbers. Um, are you you're the only coach as well? Um, so you, <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna go through some stuff. Obviously, we can uh, stop, start, ask questions. Why do we do this? Why are we doing this? Why do you want me like that? That's perfectly fine. Um, if you don't agree with me, uh, I'll say the same thing that I said my players. We can have a conversation and then both mutually decide that I'm right. Um, so we'll start. We'll start over here. Um, first things first. Obviously, Chris, if you can kind of help me with this. It used to be, can I get a player over the ball? Is it like in your good, strong jackling position? Um, and head down. You wouldn't have your head up. So it used to be, we used to say, where the head goes, uh, the body goes. So we would just come in like that, get them off the ball. Obviously, that's had to switch now. Um, so some of the things that we're going to try to do, he's a pretty big guy. So if I tried to go like that, I probably, I wouldn't get very far. So another thing that we can do is just try to take this arm and get him out of the way like that. Um, so let's get a guy over there like that. If you think you're strong enough to grab him up by the waist and roll him, you can try that. This guy facilitated a bit. If you think he would have got you, let it go, because obviously with the bag, you're going to have more support than you probably would have earlier. And then can someone run and grab me one of those bags, please? And then on this one, we're going to have the guy standing here pretty lightly. And the idea is for uh, the rucker to sort of smash him back and, and come off your feet, but then work super hard in that split second, that one second, to pop back up and do a strong position. So if you want to just hold that. Obviously, we're taught not to go off our feet and stuff like that, but if he's a big body, we're both arriving sort of at the same time, at the same velocity. Um, if I go lower than him, there's one thing that's going to happen. I'm either going to tackle him out the back, which we don't really want, or I'm, he's going to go flying back, and I'm just going to be left on the ball. So it's just come in, if we hit, we'll go down, and then straight back up protecting the ball. So can I just get, yeah, one guy over that one, and then the other two, just start on your stomachs here. Just on the other side, we'll go through. So do two at a time, and then walk back slowly. He no, he does both. So he does this one, comes out when he's he'll be in a bad position, whatever way he decides to rip, and then he's got to come back, get into a decent position. Uh, another thing I'd like to say is, where's the gate? It's pretty wide. I mean, we can use the bag. That's fine. Most of our guys lay sideways anyway. Um, how do you have to enter that gate? You don't have to go straight, no. You just have to go through the gate. So, I mean, this, if the ref can see your numbers, you're probably going to get in shit. This is going to be in the side. But if the ref's standing there and he can't see your numbers, this is still through the gate. So let's not, let's not waste time to come square. Let's just come at like a 45. Just come this way. And what, what shoulder do we want to hit this guy with? Uh, well, I'd rather have my head going over the ball. I'd rather have my head heading into the middle. Just because if I hit with my left and I slide off of him, he's still going to have a shot at the ball. So if I come into it and I hit with my right, like, and I'm still going the same way, I can't really slide off of him. There's a body there. I might not do my job. I might not get him off the ball. It'll be a really slow rock, but we'll probably still have the ball. Um, so let's do that one a couple of times, fellas, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Well, let's, start, let's start over here on our stomachs. So we're, coming, so we're coming from a bad position. That's why he's on the ball. Yeah. Go. Yeah, pretty good, Scotty. Yeah, nice. Okay, so what was the what was the first thing that both guys did? Get up 
They both squared up and then tried to move the guy this way. So we've got to be able to rock both shoulders and do things both sides, play from both sides of the field. So if you're coming up this way, you quit A to B is not go square, not take your time to want to hit them this way. That's too many movements. You want to come up, you're in the rock, and then we're out of it that way. So let's try it one more time going that way. Lovely. That's... Okay, switch it up before we go again. So just on this one, fellas, let's pretend this is Richie McCaw. He's wrapped on it super tight. You're probably not gonna be able to go over the top like that. We're trying to get him to facilitate it. We don't want full goose straight away. But so let's really work on, this doesn't have to be a million miles an hour. This is, this is Mayday. We're in the shit. He's already locked up. What's best case scenario here? If your head's down, because if you're looking up, yeah. that's yeah. no good. You're on the ball. Realistically, if you tried to hit, you're just gonna go out like that and just do that, nothing. So let's be really slow about this and come in and work that hand, especially on a smaller guy like this, kind of sometimes they're even harder than the big guys. Either work the hand or work the body and just try to rip them out of there. Yeah, lovely, good. Doesn't matter if he holds the ball. Other shoulder, other shoulder, right? Yeah, good. So you're this, both of you guys have the same, pro, uh, same issue on this one. And again, you bounced out really square to come onto it. And then that even put you with trying to hit it like that. So you don't have to be, we want to ride the lightning here, right? Yeah. We don't want to be super square. What's this guy, pro, where's he just been? He's good? Yeah. Nah, let's say you're the ball carrier and you're there and the ruck's there. The ball's probably just come from here. I haven't really been an option because I'm, I'm probably the inside guy, but I'm now coming, I've just been in the line. I've maybe squared up this defender, boom. And now I'm trying to get in, beat that guy in. So you might not kind of be like that, right? You're just gonna come from your, your best position. You, might, you won't come right from here, but you just might, boom. Zoom in like that. Yeah, good. Yeah, lovely, good. Yeah, nice. Um, so what's the feedback from you? You guys, anything? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? Pros, cons? I feel like we are going too slow to slow back. Like, I still is putting up yeah. for hitting the ball. Or I should like just go through. Maybe it don't take that long to try to swim yeah. inside, you know what I mean? Good point. Yeah, I've just been kind of all my life trying to go around. It's good to just kind of cut across. And, yeah. I mean, it, uh, it is riding the lightning. It is like the fine line, yeah. but that's to the letter of the law. Yeah. And that will make your job a lot easier mm -hmm. because this guy's probably, this guy's been in the defensive line yeah. and he's probably just floating in like this. So his line's really easy, right? Cause he's actually probably just coming in the side. Tackle's happening right on his feet and he's going like that. Um, so let's do it. Let's do the same thing. So we'll switch the bags again. But this time, instead of doing two in a row, so you still, you do this one. 
and then stop and come out here and pretend um, you're, the inside, you're the inside guy and let's just see if that helps change your line at all, okay? Instead of trying to think about popping off the ground, getting on side, let's just come out to here and start on our stomachs this way, all right? Not. Better, Scotty. Can you just like facilitate it for them by just being. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. When, when he gets there, let's just Break. point out one thing. Okay. When he gets here. To make sure that you aren't that ceiling off the ball, but I mean, you hear a lot of coaches say like, get that half yard or get that yard past the ball. That's so important. But what that means is not necessarily getting your arms past the ball because yeah. when you reload it there, yeah. I know that like the difference between his reload and your reload yeah. is you generally reload from your arms, keep your chest low and your legs super far back. What's going to happen if you if you can get into that position uh, and then apply pressure to him? So now he's going to end up basically down in this position. And now we have a counter rep coming through. For, for referees, if we're, if we're looking to reward who's dominant in this area, if Lucas will come in and join this, now we get a counter rep going. It's a trigger point for referees. If we see this picture, we're happy. The legs are close to the ball. If he ends up with his arms too far, too, and his chest too far past his leg, that's a trigger for referee to maybe hit a ceiling off decision. Uh, it's not an automatic, but to, to protect yourself from getting into that picture, because yep. guys do come and you'll get hit. Maybe some guy will come hit you from the side. Yep. I always say to guys, like, take away the, like, expect the opposition to cheat. What can you do to look after yourself? Reload with your legs up. And that just is a, it's a better position, and you look like you're dominant. Okay. So it's not only about blasting them out, it's yep. about looking like you're dominant, so that you can take the game out of the referee's hands. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, for uh, the coaches, the other coach, and for the players, um, in the rock, or... As the ruck's forming, who's the most important player? The ball carrier. Yeah, the ball carrier. He facilitates it all, right? So it doesn't matter how good you are at rucking, if he gets smashed and is on his back um, and, and goes flying by you backwards, you're going to have a tough day at the office, right? And again, if he drops instantly to his side and just places it on the way down, that's just a red. Uh, that's just a green light for attacking players to be all over it. So the first thing that has to be right is if I was playing this way and I got tackled, it's sort of the, the score of the try. You've got half a second to make a rugby move, and then it's got to be a quick whip back like that, as opposed to just as you're getting tackled, placing it like that. Um. So you, are you guys good, good to go? Yes. Yeah. Two, four. I got six. Yeah, perfect. Um, I'll grab another comb. Thanks for coming, fellas. Thanks for showing up. So we got three sets of cones. Uh, so get um, one guy in each of these cones. Three on the left for the ball, please. Um, yeah, so two more. One there, one there, one here. Not, sorry, not these cones. Not these ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna yell one, two, or three. There's going to be a chop tackle uh, for the defender. Yeah. Just a chop. You guys, no, no, no. I've yelled three. You guys, drop your balls over here. Come around this cone. You guys go around that cone. And we'll just 
Defensively, how many guards do you put in a rock usually? Tackler plus one? Yeah. Tackler plus one, so two. So, same with you guys. If it's going to be a tackler plus one here, if you see a weakness, maybe tackler plus two. So, but that'll just be dependent on if a guy slips, if the tackler does a really good job, all that kind of stuff. So, we'll go through the first couple um, without any coaching. We'll see what comes up. So if I yell, if I yell one, okay. you have to come around the cone, and then you'll be joining the defensive line. Oh, okay, yeah. So you want to, whether you think you can jackal, maybe the tackle's been poor, and you guys just have to go on defense. And they are in this side too, in that team? Sorry? They are playing in that, in that team too, or no? They yeah, they're, they're on the ball case team, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll walk through one, and just... Go down. So I'll say one. So already there. Who? What was the first threat? It was a tackler. It was a tackler. And what was it? And where was he? All like already on the ball. So that's where we would use the roll, probably right. So no, that's that's good. That's fun. Um, thank you for screwing that up for me, so I could point it out. Two. Over, 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 man. Yeah, here, post, post. Good break. break. Lovely. We didn't have that right away. No, those. Yeah. All decisions there are fine. Other than the tackler, I would say after that tackle, when you got up and saw you go, I'd probably jump at the D line, realistically. Over, over. Good work. We'll do one more. We'll come back to that one. Three. Break. Good. Just stop there for a second. Go down on the ground as if you've been tackled and you place the ball back. He's getting up to his feet and he's just gotten up. Do I have to wait for him to be all the way up to get rid of him? So, even better, even better than rolling them is just as he's getting up, that's where I clear him off. I might come off, and then I'm straight back up. Yeah. And then you, as when you come in, the second guy, you come in twice, and you've done kind of what Chris said, which has been like this, which looks like sealing off a little bit. Okay? Yeah. It's all right. No? So can we just put one, the tackler just plus one? Three. Perfect. Good from both sides. Switch, uh, a switch attack in D. Yeah, just switch the ball. Easy there. Break. You might have got the ball. He's going to get a penalty every single time. So, ball carry is fine. Defensively, he's not getting a big run up. So, what do you have to do? No, I mean, if you're up, if you're up high like this, which is fine, you're in the D line, you're chasing, you're tracking. What do I want to do right before you make a tackle? Get low. Get low. I don't want to tackle him. 
I mean, let's just say it's going on my left, so it's fine. We can put it in there, let's sink, and then we'll get in. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, over there, Luke. Good. Good. Were you the first one in? Yeah. yeah, that was good. So you didn't wait for it to form. You just hit the guy. And then the second and then the second defender. Um, there's nothing you can do. It's fun. Chris, what do you think about that one? Would you Action. Yeah. He's basically it's a, it's a risk reward scenario. Yeah. If he does that action, he's got to get the ball. Yeah. And Which like he did, he got, he got to get the ball and, and win it back. Yeah. If he stays on the ball there. Yeah. And, and while well, a player arrives and, and has, is on his feet, then he's basically putting himself at risk. So in that scenario, if you're going to go to ground and reload immediately to attack the ball, make sure you're attacking the ball and not the ground of, uh, beyond the ball. Does that make sense? No, I mean. But, but you made the ball, but you won. The you ball. got it. That would be like a questionable call. Some refs would get it, yeah. some refs wouldn't. Um, so now the attack, you don't have to go around the cone. He was quick, and in keeping yourself high and try and moving sideways, you're not actually kind of buying the time that you want to buy. Yeah. Um, it's more time for us. Though. It's more time, exactly. It's more time for them. For me, best case scenario in this drill on the attack, what is it? One meter. Score the try. Just past here, defense has to come back on side. Our guys are coming from on side. Good, strong placement. Um, I would say that that's best case scenario. And if you do that three times in a row and you have a quick ball, their defense is going to be sixes and sevens. We'll get them out wide. The big boys in tight. We've got to, we've got to kind of limit our expectations of what we want to accomplish. And just, but if we get perfect ball placement. Really quick ball. Quick ball is way more important than line speed, or sorry, than uh, line gain. Quick ball, guys are not getting the width that wide, that'll slice them and dice them. One. Oh, perfect. Very good. On that one, Chris, with his hands on the ground, I, I'd say he'd be all right. Because he won the space past the ball. Yep. If he if he didn't clear out past the ball, he puts himself at risk. But because the space is already won, the contest is over. Perfect. And it's a good strong shape. He didn't have his arm. He didn't have his forearms on the ground or anything. Perfect. Three. Ooh. I'd kind of be on his side because until he yeah. slipped, he looked like a threat. 100%. So even in that position, if you would pop up on your hands, yeah. you'd probably be all right. It, right. I know, I know. He, you're coming in to kill him, and he's slipped, and you've kind of belly flopped on top of him, and that's where you just gotta mayday, make a better situation better, and try to pop up any way you can. If you if you make yourself look whiter than white, yeah. it sells it that he's the problem, and then it's less of a, I hate the term, but it's a, not a 50-50. Yeah. So you, you can do something there to paint the picture for the referee. Again, it's about taking the game out of the referee's hands, right? Yeah. Come on, fellas. Two. Go to that, go to that, go to that, get over. Good, yeah. Lovely. Good work. Who was that? Who was the first guy in? Good. 
Get very good clean. Step. Take off your feet there, but then you pop them back in, square it up. Perfect. Better. Way better. Well, you're painting a positive picture. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it's how it's perceived, right? That's it, yeah, turn over it. Yeah, Scotty again. It's kind of... I was going way too much on that. Yeah. yeah. I'd say you've got to post them up, yeah. fight to get down, but score the try. And when you place it back, because he was able to just to be right up on top of it. Yeah. If you get out there and he has to strike balls it off his feet, it's probably going to be... Well, it won't be a penalty because he probably won't even go for it. Okay, switch the balls back. We'll do two more. Three. Great clean. Great clean. So on that one, what was your trigger? Who, trying to get over the ball. Just, like, yeah, so in, it worked out. It kind of worked out, but the only reason it worked out is because he sort of formed a rock before he was able to get it, but the only threat was him. So when you were there, the, you, the only thing that you had to do is just get his, and he had his ribs up. He was pretty high. He was out like this. He was searching. He had just got off the ground. You could have come in. Boom. And a big player. One of their good players. He's fucking breathing tough for five minutes, right? But you you went right for the ball where the ball carrier, he's going to place. He's going to score the try and place it back. He's going to look after the ball. Your job. Just, just worry about it. Just worry about your it. job is a threat. threat yeah. He was the only threat. The other, the second guy, uh, we were both late. They, they were quite late. And the other guy coming in, if they even come into it, he'll sort it out. So, so just attack the threat. Yeah. yeah. One. Yeah, that ball would be, to me that ball would be gone. Yeah, that took ages. Yeah. Two. Three. Again, that, that ball would be gone miles before. Yeah. So can we we'll bring it over here, fellas? I kind of wanted ten for this drill. No, not a uh, ten. Ten guys. Um. So we'll pretend that that is just like the first defender. And can I just get three defenders here and then three attackers here? Um. And so, Caps, what do you guys call it, uh, like, when you're playing off nine? I don't, like, I don't, well, okay, so we'll call it, uh, like, a gun or a gun or a shot or something. Um, so it's coming off nine. We're in a pot of three. We're probably running, we want to run at the third defender. So you'd be, and you'd run it sort of like this, right? You'd be maybe a little wider. And a little, maybe a little, uh, yeah. Um, hey? He's the third defender, because that, cone, that cone's the first one, because we don't have the numbers. So, a few things I've seen in the first couple months is, like, passing ball. Um, is as they're running, they pass it inside or outside. 
So they pass it there. Um, what happens if I pass it to him? No inside clean air. They've got one defender and one coming from the far side of the rock. And that might be a two on one. Um, on this one, if I've drawn this guy and I pass it to him, it's, it's a little better because I can at least follow him in. I can at least be the first rocker. I'm his support. This guy, he might have to double up on the inside or he might have to come around and get a little square and hit the threat from the outside. The other thing that we hear is that, go back over there, go back over there, is that people want him to run that line to hold that defender. But if I run like this, he can run any line he wants. What are you going to do? Even if he holds the line, yeah, yeah. what difference are you making this to me? Make nothing. Making me slower. Hey? You can make him go slower to the position or rack or whatever. You want. But if he's a tackler, yeah. you're defending him out wide, yeah. so you're looking at him. Yeah. You're kind of looking at me, but you're more looking at him. I've taken him on. I've done my job. Yeah. I've got the line. I'm about to go down. Who, how's the race now? But it's still closer. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you right here? Uh, I suppose you never run it this yeah. What's there? But like what I are the benefits? What are the benefits of line, and then I see you go into contact, and then I can come in because I'm close enough. But why do you? Why are you going to run that line? There is no way. The, the only uh, the only thing that I can see is like he can make him go slowly to the position. You know what I mean? Off. But but if he's if he's cutting it off if he's cutting that guy off he's wasting himself because as a as the defender he can pop up on his feet and attack the ball as a ball carrier once I place the ball I'm a bit fucked to try to get up on my feet and try to do anything with the ball so and if he's the first one in if I score the try you come and you're down. And you're over top of me, and you just touch me. You only have to touch me. What can he do now anymore? He can't poke. He can't jackal. Uh, so he's already out of the game. So maybe he just go and support you, right? Your run. This guy, he still has to run that line. Because if I, if you look, if if I step out this way, he's gone. Or it's at least a very shady tackle from your fourth or fifth defender who might be a back. Um, but I think realistically, from the inside guy, you can line up there. As soon as that nine gets the ball off, gets the ball off the deck, I'm coming square. Why don't I want to cut in either? I cut him off, and I'm going to get double tackled. I want to come up square. I want to get two and two feet this way. Side on tackle. I'm scoring the try. If he tries to get down on it, you're in his side. You're in his guts. He's not even going to chance to get to it because you're on me, right like white on rice. You can smash me through the gap, pop back up on your hands. What's it, and what's another good thing about me carrying out uh, and bringing this guy in and you hitting me here? And, and we're through the gap and we score it. You're gonna, how far, how far to the defenders way. have to go yeah. to get to the open? And if we get two meters here, they have to go in a semicircle. Um, so let's try that one. I'll be the nine. You guys be the ball carriers. I got two. Three. I'll only pass from the deck, so D, yeah. don't worry about the nine going. I don't know. Um, and then, I, yeah, you can say, but let's, hey, Wait. what's the most penalized thing so far this year? High tackles. There's like fucking five a game. So let's keep the tackles, let's chop them. What, do you have a few? You look like you might have a few. <laughs> so, are you gonna come on to it or what? Okay. So on that one, you're even, you're even waiting for him and letting him, and letting him get up and then he got up under you. So don't even wait for him. If he even looks like a threat, get in there and smash him.
Was that Chris? He's come off the ball. No, he's, so some players are coming in and they're they're being this big exaggerated release. You yeah. Know, I, I would say that you're presenting a pretty big target and you're putting yourself at risk. All, all we need to see from, from a referee point of view is that you come off the ball and you come off the ball carrier. So it doesn't have to be a big exaggerated movement because then it's going to muck up what you're trying to do here. Yeah. Another thing. We're playing off this rock. It's on the touchline. How many defenders are we against here? Probably like, but I mean, realistic, probably like 10, 12. They're probably only defending to the, the far post. So when I get in here, what do I know is coming? Fucking a blitz defense. So if I run high, like, it's game over. What's my best case scenario here? Um, just drive right in through some guys. And What's more important than gain line? Ball. Quick ball. Yeah. So when I come here, my forehead is aiming at his fucking shoelaces. Boom. As soon as I get hit, I'm punching through. I need a meter and a half, two meters. I need quick ball. We've got two tack we've got two tacklers, two in that ruck, and then their whole fold, boom, we're gone. We slice them. If you get held up because you wanna maybe push him off and think that you might run a 60 meter try. It gets really slow, and we don't get speed of ball over gain line every time. Pop up, pop up, really good, really quick, but then you were right on your belly. It's all right because there wasn't really a threat, so the ref might let you get away with it, if, but if there's one guy there. Don't, don't put yourself at risk. Take the ref out of it. Yeah, perfect. Lovely. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Still good. Lovely. Ball's gone. We're already under the post, Scotty. Yeah. No. Come up a little bit. We want to be a little flat. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. But on that one, there's no threat. And the nine's only it's coming from here, so you're not really gonna have to lift the ball, but you're definitely gonna wanna stay there because they might have a second, they might have a second sniff. Can we switch it up? Perfect. You're there before any threats. Outside cleaner, you probably weren't even needed. Because now, with the new rules, as soon as, you don't have to have another player to form a ruck. You can just touch your player or the tackler and the ruck's there. But it was good. Looked really clean. Again, in that position, uh, with the nine coming from here, is there any benefit of you popping it to the nine? I wouldn't think so. It's good, balls away. Who is the tackler there? So, this isn't really like a defensive session, but I would say that that's probably like a, a tackle technique issue. You went quite high. In this spot, he's a big guy. You're not gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna wrestle him up high. There's not a whole lot to gain from that. Um, Especially how you think he's going to be running. You got to get underneath him, chop him. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. Anything? F feedback? Any questions? Chris, any input? No, exactly. 
guys are blasting past the ball. It really takes the ref out of it. There's not one time I would have even uh, considered making a decision. It's good. So can we can we hold that outside? Let's just see what happens when you don't hit it. You all right? No, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so I mean, you're, beat, you're beating the problem there. Perfect. Lucas, just again, just to make it look like you're you're a bit more positive. You're doing the job. Your well, legs are really, really far back. How would you have aligned? So you're ending up in this position, and yeah. it looks like you're not. Oh, I would have had actual an actual defender here, yeah. just to to free him up to actually have a sniff, yeah. or the second guy to actually have a sniff, because they're beating him to it. To have a dabble at the ball, uh, because on three on three, um, and the. I would rather say to these two guys, really go at the ball carrier, mm -hmm. um, and then that would leave this guy to try to probably two guys from the inside to maybe just have a look, yeah. just to change the outlook of the drill. Um, well, so then I was gonna have like, I was even gonna run it with two and pretend that this is like a double rocker, like your sevens come here to check this rock. He's not needed. And then he's a, he's a third guy into this one. So he just has a look. So we can actually try that. So Scotty or whoever, do you want to come in here? Um, yeah, on the attack. And like, so you know off of a line out or scrum, you're hitting it wide like ABC or, I don't know, Larry, Malcolm, uh, Roger, whatever you call it. We've hit it to the right. We're probably going to have a winger, two backs, Backs can't rock, so we've got to send our seven. But you get here, the ball's going out. Let's just see what your line is. Uh, so, like, you'll be about there. Um, so, actually, like, come in like that. And I'm going to step up and pass behind you. And then you can just filter in. So, you guys are still... All, don't, don't manipulate yourselves. All get around Tim. And then you guys do the same thing. And we'll see how it goes. Even better. Defense didn't do, defense didn't do anything. Lovely. Can you really attack this one? Really attack it. I'd say I'd say the rock probably beat him. Yeah. So defensively on that one, if there's one guy in there, you can o you can only go for the body, not the ball. Once that clean comes in and, and you're not on the ball, you, you have to focus on the space. <laughs> Lovely. But. That's break, steal. So that's perfectly one of the issues. You've waited, you've waited a little bit too long. So get away. And what have you done to the what have you done to the defender? He's actually been able to hit you off the ball, and you want to be in that guy. And he's just followed his exact same line that he was going for this one. He hasn't had to move it at all. He's already on it, and you're his inside cleaner. So that's why it's important. Although you got the ball away, he was still marked up on this guy. So what's our cue to, what's our cue to tip it on? If I see that guy, yeah. But if he's still square and still open, you've just thrown him into a sh like a load of shit. Unless it's super early and you haven't got that defender and you pass it and then you follow him in, you just take Scotty's roll and then that's fine. We go a little bit wider, maybe he's not a great tackler. Maybe he's a phenomenal tackler and you don't want to deal with it. Boom, we've just shifted it on and we're straight into him. But on that one, when you've brought him so close, you've been checked out of the play and, you've, and then you're late and he's able to follow his same line through, through the back and he's gonna beat Scotty there. Cause Scotty's, 
Because Scotty's got to get around you as well, because you've been, you've parked yourself right in front of Scotty's line. So do a couple more. Yeah. Push through that game line too, guys. I'd say you're beat, pal. I'd say the ruck beat you. I'd say that's fine, yeah. On the body first, then on the ball, right? Yeah. Gotta get it on the ball. Yeah, sure. You guys want to switch up a bit? Not really. <laughs> get in there and start chopping. All jobs for all players, mate. Good. Very good. Okay? Nice reload. Yeah. So can we start, we'll start you out here. We'll bring it in a bit tighter. Cause let's say it's a wet day. So we're running, so you guys still stay in defense, maybe slightly tighter cause we're tighter. So get in the defensive line. But this time we're gonna start with you just on him. Okay. Like the South Africans kind of do it. So we'll just be like that. Um, some guys want to be right on them. I'd like to let them make at least one rugby move yeah. by himself, okay. but then follow him into the gap. If he goes off his feet, go with him. But then let's pop straight back yeah, up. Straight up okay. And then Scotty, yeah. uh, make the call whether to... do whatever he feels necessary. Okay. okay. Good, 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 good. Good. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Nice, really good. If they got two guys jammed up like that in defense, how are we going to defend it? You don't? What the fuck you mean we don't? Well, no, sorry. Sorry, like if they have two guys already over the ball. And no, no, like if they, if they have two guys like this, how are we going to defend that? You're coming in, you smash him. Just, so as they come to you, and you don't have to do anything. He's looking after the tackle. Just give him a little pop. See if you can break it up a little bit there. Yeah. You attack that latch. Hey? Nice. No, you. He attacks that latch. You still have to work here. Yeah. And I would still, I would still keep these guys on my right, and I'd still ride the lightning and put my fucking head right in there, because I don't care. Because okay. if I come this way, he might come over me. But I'm still trying to hit that guy out. But if you get knocked out, it's not my fault. Oh, well done. So again on that one, Luca, you've got the two meters game line. You've kind of, you probably felt that you lost that guy. You've tried to stand up and it's been ripped away from you. And if you have the ball and I wrap up on it yeah. and you try to, how do you, and you try to rip like that, what do I have to do? I don't have to do anything because yeah. you're going to use your own strength to rip it out. Yeah. Okay, so where do you, if I get the ball like this, where do you want to go? Where do you, no, where do you want to go? Down for sure. No. Right there. You want to aim your head right there and go straight down. Because if I'm a smaller guy yeah. and you try to rip it up, just rip it up, yeah. it's just going to fly up in the air. Because yeah. I'm going to use your own strength. I'm going to use your own strength against you. Yeah. I don't even yeah, have the ball that good, but you wanting to rip it out that way, it's going to make it fly in the air. Probably going to be a knock on. And if you, I mean, and if you want to take me forward a few steps, what's going to happen? Four guys from defense are going to come in. They're going to stand it up. Probably going to be a scrum put in for us. So if you get in that position, yeah. you're a bit fucked. Yeah. You got to get to ground. You got to get your head right in there as quick as you can. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Very good. Perfect, he's not even a threat in the side. And where is he? On his face, out of the play. You're still on your feet, 15 versus 14. Do that a few more times, we're walking it in under the sticks. We're gonna run into issues with that one. On that. So on that one, Luca, when you came in here, you were waiting for him to go down. So bring it in, Scotty, like you were there. 
but stay, yeah, go down like you were. And he was still coming up. What's he still, what's he already in now? He's in the circle. But where, where is he? Oh, standing, late. But he's already in he's the, the right contact area, yeah. in the ruck area. So you don't have to wait for him to go down. I'd just come in, boom, I'd get him out of the way. And I'd probably stand right here, about a meter away. What, it's a meter, meter and a half. But you're here and you're holding him. But where's where's all the defense coming from? That side. Where do we have to go now? Around, all the way around. So don't wait for them to be a threat. If we can take them out of the game, they are. Get him now. Yes, perfect. There, lovely. I wouldn't even drive him that far. Because when, just when you drove him a meter, that's where you want him. Right in, his def right in that fold line, perfect. Let's give someone else that, yeah. Come a little bit. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I probably would have been in earlier, Scotty. As he was there doing that, that guy, doing that, I would have been into him. Boom. Well, sorry, well. We'll call you Nine Day Mustache. <laughs> now. Put the uh, put the attack put the attack on D. Don't let the cat lick that off. So do the same one. Bind up or kind of be in a position like you're going to f follow him straight into contact and help him through. Yep. Uh, no. I think you'd be fine. All right. All right. How did you start here and end up That's all the way? That's what I'm saying, I went around like that. No, you, I mean, you went through the gate. I just, uh, you started fun. Yeah, I just don't know how you did it. So get on him tighter. I think... You all right? Nah, turn over. So did he, did he check you off? I can't remember, I just know I was blocked by something. I yeah. Couldn't get there. I tripped. You tripped him? I, no, I tripped. That's why I went down. You tripped us. Oh, but, oh, did you? Are you all right? So, you've got to beat Scotty in there, right? Outside defender? Oh, yeah. That was me. No, that was me. Okay, sorry. No, uh, you're wait, you were waiting for him, you were there, and then you sunk on him and you wrapped and you missed. Small guys are tougher, but I think, I reckon you could have beat him there. Okay. And just as he's going down and his head's still here, get that chest right in here. Just underneath, just underneath, win that battle, go lower. But I think you're wait, I think you were waiting a bit out there. Knees down, break. Hey. For maybe. Who? How is that ball carry? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. So Luca, I reckon the ruck might have beat you there. Yeah. You didn't feel it.
it wasn't right in front of you, but it was still there. So, I mean, that, that, that's a tricky one. If I was refing that, he might start here and like back into the, how would you do it? You'd probably back into this line here. So he might see it on this side because he'll see that guy. Yeah. So you're gonna, they're going to be a little bit behind uh, where the game line would be. Yeah. So then that moment, they might, because it's blind side, you might, you might get away with it. But the challenge is some guys will step in here. Like when I ref, I, I tend to get a little bit deeper. So for me, I, I see a ruck come in, and then I see you're late on the ball. We wait. If you get cleaned out, we play on. If you steal the ball, penalize. Yeah. So, and you did such a great job in that previous phase with that counter ruck. If you do that same thing and you protect the space, you probably the ball anyway. I think between hands in, like hands in on defense and the penalties received because you're not rolling away or getting out of it, um, I personally don't see uh, any purpose in jackling anymore. They've tried to take it completely out of the game because they want the they want the attacking team to have the ball. I think for a big guy like yourself smashing it, making it slow, because we've already decided that quick ball is better than game line. I just think making as many rucks slow as possible, legally, is going to be way more beneficial to your team than maybe you steal too clean, but maybe you get two penalties. And if you steal too clean, where's the ball? Right where you got it. If you get two penalties, where's the ball? 40 meters behind your head or six points through the uprights. Couple more fellas and then we'll just have a quick chat. So let's have these ones really fucking intense, all right? Let's break some teeth. Yeah, Offside. When's the Exactly. Pop up, pop up, pop up. You're gonna you probably be alright on that one, because he was all over it. But but when you pop up, what can you do then? Ref, he's on our ball. Ref, he's on our ball. Well, I mean, you maybe don't do that. Don't yell at the ref. Yeah, you probably slow down your own halfback's ball, too. Yeah. If I'm your halfback, I'm coming and slapping you on the head there. Yeah, yeah. And get out of the way. Okay, I got support. It's back foot work. Up, up. Lovely. Switch to groups for two more. Great shot! Great shot! Boy, that's a big man. He went down. Good work. Just 15 more times a game. One more different carrier. I think, yeah, I think that's good. I would even, I probably would have cleaned him out and then left that guy to the next guy, to the next, because he was on his back, he was on his side. I probably would have said, he's going to be ages getting there. I would have smashed him and, and kept him at the back. Or we'll bring it in, fellas. I think that's, I think that's so enough. Later, for six, for six later, players. Yeah, Good work, fellas. Good work, guys. How are you? All right? You get hit in the head? Good work, guys. Good work. Good work, guys. Hey, thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for coming, fellas. Good work, fellas. Do you want to ask that question for the group? Yeah, sure. And then we'll get it. It was just on that rep there at the end. Uh, the guy was, like, carrying the ball. He, like, had um, contact on. Yeah, it was you. And then uh, right there. And then the, it was, like, sort of like an extended latch. And... Uh, white when uh, he had contact, I sort of just came in and just took this guy right out. Yeah. And that's like that doesn't seem legal. It doesn't seem like something. So what? So what? We, we actually tell ref to hit that because what it does do is it takes away their ability to get the ball clean, quick and clean because it takes a player out of the play. If he if he ends up close to being on the ground, if he's on his way to the yeah. deck, and you come in and smash him, and I just sort of come over the top. Yeah, no problem. Okay. But that was that was a situation where this guy is standing on his feet. 
he can still do some some things. He can still yeah, play rugby. I just this guy hasn't ha, is entitled to run that line. If he's in front of him, okay, we have a different story. Cool. Yeah, okay. What if he's grabbing him? Well, I think if he's like if he's bound shoulder to him. Yeah. Like the fir- I mean the first. So the first. Extended, so I can see that. Also, the first thing I said was give him a check to try to break that bind. Okay. That's all I would do. I would just give him a pop. Yeah. See if he's awake. See if he's really doing his job, so not him or if he's play, just fucking coasting. Yeah. I wouldn't take him out of the play. Yeah. I wouldn't take him out of the if play. You, if you give him a bump with your shoulder, no problem. I would just okay. give him. If, I would just give him a bump. Him out. Bounce, right. then, yeah. Like, yeah. Got it. And that. And I mean, that's why I said, go up, give him a check, just maybe see if you can create some separation to make your tackler's job a little bit easier. I wouldn't take him out of the play. Same with um, when Luca was cleaning those guys at the back. He had him in the lovely position. He could have driven them for 15 meters. But he only really wants to take it a meter because I think over two meters is a penalty. Yeah. Um, and then, and that's the same with that. Give him a little shot, see if he's awake, try to break that bind. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't tackle him and I wouldn't carry him out the back. Or if you, the further away you take him from the play like that, it makes it it, make, it paints a big obvious picture. Yeah. And you want to avoid that. If you if you take the guy off the ball with a with his bump or something like that, no one's gonna bother with it. It's, we got to deal with the th- stuff that everyone sees, not the stuff that's microscopic. But you do that, that's and you're spotlighting yourself. I'm watching the game on TV uh, at home. I'm probably shouting at it. Gotcha. Like, and the, no, definitely. the other thing I would do if they, were, if they were kind of bound like they were is I wouldn't come in this way and be that far away from the ball carrier. I'd probably, because in that way, and they're going that way, I've got a lot of turns to get back yeah. that way, whether I go like that. And if you're coming from the inside, I'd probably come this way, get him that way, and then yeah. follow this guy in. More of, more of just like here, like sort of like get the side on and sort of break that. Well, you're going to be coming from inside of him because you're the, you're the defender in here. Yeah. So he's going to be up there. So I come like that, give him a pop, see what's happening here. If it looks like a, if it looks like a really good chop, I'm not going to get on it. I'm already on my way around the corner. If it looks like it might be a fight, uh, he doesn't get him first. I'd probably come down on this guy as he's getting tackled and just try to get him in the back. Maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, any other questions, fellas? Uh, I mean, players, thanks for coming. Um, I, I hope that we were able to manipulate it so you guys got something out of it, even though there's only four to start and then six later on.